In this tutorial, we learn about the asset pipeline of Xenco Game Studio. This tutorial serves as a generic or general overview on what kind of terminology you should be familiar with when it comes to the Xenco asset pipeline. There are five words that are really important in the asset pipeline. Those are resources, assets, entities, components, and content. Let's start with resources. Resources are made entirely outside of Xenco. As a matter of fact, we could have a computer without Xenco installed on it and we can make our resources. So what are resources? Resources are things like models, animations, skeletons, textures, audio files, skyboxes, fonts and sprites. You can either buy those resources from various websites, Perhaps you have a team member who is an artist who can make those for you. Perhaps you've hired someone to make them for you. Or if you have the time and skill, you have made them yourselves. When it comes to models and animations, there are a lot of tools at your availability. Maya, 3D Studio Max, ZBrush, Mudbox, 3D Code, it's a very long list. If you're looking for a cross-platform open source alternative, you can use Blender. These kind of tools, they export models or animations or skeletons to a specific file format. Xenco can handle many different model formats, and among them are some of the popular ones like FBX and OBG. When it comes to textures, sprites and skyboxes, there are also a lot of tools for that as well. Of course, there is Photoshop and Illustrator, but if you're looking for a more lightweight editor for Windows, then Paint.net is a very good option. It's free and open source. And if you're looking for a more advanced tool that is both cross-platform and open source, then have a look at GIMP. These kind of programs produce files like DDS, JPEGs, PNGs and TGA. Again, Xenco supports many of these texture formats. When it comes to audio, you have tools like Adobe Edition, and as a cross-platform open source option, we have Audacity. These kind of tools produce WAV files, MP3, OGG, as well as various others, and they can be easily imported into Xenco Game Studio. The second word in the asset pipeline terminology is the asset. Assets are a representation of an element inside your game during design time, so when you're working inside Xenco Game Studio. This could be a texture, an animation, it could be a model. Some assets require resource files. For example, a texture asset requires an image file, so a JPEG or a PNG. And an audio asset requires an audio resource like an MP3 or an OGG file. There are also other type of assets that do not require any resource files. These are created entirely in Xenco Game Studio. These are things like prefabs, materials, scenes and physics colliders. For many of these kind of assets, Xenco Game Studio has various dedicated editors. For instance, we've already had a look at the scene editor, but there is also the sprite sheet editor, the UI page editor and the script editor. The next important word in the asset pipeline terminology is called the entity. Some of the assets that we have created can become entities in a scene. For instance, a model can be dragged into the scene and it becomes an entity. That also brings us to the next word in the asset pipeline terminology, the component. Entities and components have a very close relation towards each other. Entities hold a list of components. And every single entity in your scene has at least one component, and that is the transform component. And as we've seen before, the transform component holds the properties to position, scale and rotation. Every entity can have many different components, and these components, they tell what this entity does or what it is. For instance, we could have various script components attached to a certain entity to get gameplay. Another example would be an entity that has a model component and this model component references various assets, for instance the model itself, and that model would reference on its own term a material and a physics collider. The fifth word in our terminology list for the asset pipeline is content. 
When we build our game, our assets get compiled to content. This means a runtime representation that can be loaded while the game is running. When we write game code, we load in content. Assets don't really exist anymore at that level. So again, an asset is design time when you're working with Xenco Game Studio. And when you're writing code, you're loading in content. And when you're actually running your game, it is content that is being loaded in your game. Now that we know a little bit more about Xenco's asset pipeline, it is time to start importing some assets of our own. We'll do this in the next tutorial, where we'll cover more about every specific resource, asset, and the components that come along with that.